What is up YouTube? It's your boy Sean back with 3G's Gaming. So thanks for joining us today. Today I wanted to bring you guys a little leak that's coming from 4chan. This was just posted on 1010, which is today a bit earlier than expected, but hey, uh, let's just dive right in. I'll have the link in the description down below. Please, I want to hear from your guys' thoughts about this. Um, I don't cover too many 4chan leaks. I do a lot of Reddit. So this is different for me today. And this just goes through all the numbers of characters and who's left. So let's start all the way at the top. This is from Anonymous, of course. And it says, the full roster. As some of you may know, a user made a post on here earlier regarding Microsoft reps and the next characters to be announced. I can confirm that their information is 100% correct and that they likely share sources with Virgin. Smash Mini Direct will be on October 24th, and there will be a surprise announcement for new fighters and an echo on both October 31st and November 14th. I think you can figure out who they'll be. A final Smash Direct will be on no November 30th, and there will be a blowout of information. I think Sakurai was having a joke when he said announcements were slowing down. I kind of agree with that, you know how much of a troll Sakurai can be, especially with just what we've seen of him do in the past, and I don't think he's going to be holding anything back. Two characters, I, from the box theory, that's what a lot of people were hinting at, and they're just saying, oh, you know, that's probably it. I really think we'll get at least six to close to ten more, but, um, let's pick it up here so they list all the characters by numbers then we have number 69 that being bandana waddle d 70 incineroar 71 skull kid 72 dante 73 elma 74 heihachi 75 isaac 76 master chief 77 banjo and kazooie 78 gino that's 10 characters Let's start at the top. So 69, Bandana Waddle D. I think he is a likely newcomer. His Kirby is such a big franchise and the fans really want to see him somehow represented. I think it would hurt a lot of fans if we saw him as an assist trophy. We have a new Kirby assist trophy that's Chef Kowalski, if I'm getting that right. Kind of taking over Kirby's uh, final smash and how he's done it in the past where everyone jumps in the pot and he's just cooking up that stir fry for us and um but yeah I think Bandana Waddle Dee is likely moving along to 70 you have Incineroar who has been going around the internet as of late a lot of us were hinting at or guessing it was going to be Decidueye at an earlier time when Smash was first announced for the Switch and it looks like Virgin himself is going along with the thoughts of Incineroar joining the game so it's just kind of up in the air at this point I really believe that he is our next likely Pokemon rep for Gen 7 and then maybe Zero Order as DLC for Echo of Lucario or something that's just a good another idea and that's just my speculation on it but 71 you have Skull Kid and again Papa Genos made a video regarding Skull Kid and for a second there he was nowhere to be seen and all of a sudden this one leak comes out that makes everyone think oh yeah like they totally forgot about skull kid and then he just starts running wild on the internet causing mischief like he does right um but i would love to see skull kid i think toon link does need a villain if we can have ganondorf we just need more legend of zelda representation honestly what's the worst about having a second villain join the franchise for that saga or series of characters so i think that'd be really cool if you guys agree you, again share me your thoughts down below in that comment section where you guys reign supreme moving along you have dante from devil may cry series and i've only played dante in marvel vs capcom 3 i have never played a devil may cry game in my life it is a shame i know and i know you guys feel sorry for me but i think dante fits the bill if we can get bayonetta I think they would work perfectly together, you know. Um, I would love to see Dante. If you guys are with me on that, let me know. And that it, 
he would be that next Capcom rep. I know the new Devil May Cry is coming out shortly, so that's something to think about. Then you have Elma. Elma, I feel, is very likely over Rex and Pyra just because Xenoblade, what was it, X came out before this new one, Chronicles. Yeah, so if you guys get that idea, I believe Rex and Pyra will either get in as DLC, that's very likely in my point of view. Coming along from Elma, you have Heihachi, who was thought of and in Smash 4 but we got a costume instead so there you have Heihachi that makes sense for the new Bandai Namco rep right then you have Isaac our golden boy from Golden Sun I would love to have Isaac um, I think he's super likely I really hope he isn't added in as an assist trophy that would break my heart so moving along from Isaac you have 76 which is Master Chief this one Maybe I'm um, not up to date. I haven't seen Lax's Chris's uh, Lax Chris's video yet on the whole Master Chief leak or whatever's going on right now. But I'm sure people are losing their minds if this is true. That just dawned on me, Master Chief. If we're working so well with Microsoft, Halo is a huge franchise. Why wouldn't Bill Trennan from Microsoft give us the rights to? Master Chief and put him in the game. If Snake can get in, Master Chief has all the rights. That's my thoughts. I think it'd be super cool. I only played Halo 1 or 2 back when the Xbox had just came out. I've never been so much of an Xbox fan in my day, so um, I definitely prefer PlayStation and Nintendo over Xbox. I'm not hating on him or anything, but that's just me. But Master Chief would make perfect sense over someone like Goku, who's an anime character, who a lot of fans were hoping for, but it just doesn't make sense to add an anime character, because then you'd have to open the floodgates for all these other anime characters who would be chosen, or Sakurai would be harassed about for not adding if they can add Goku, so it just wouldn't work out. And Master Chief just fits the bill, honestly. Um, and then you have Banjo and Kazooie right after that. I know Virgin has talked about Minecraft representation. I don't know if maybe we'll see Steve or a Creeper as an assist trophy, trophy to back up that Microsoft image. But they could definitely do that. I see all of these people that Nintendo's working with from characters so far. Sega's had two characters now with Bayonetta and, and Sonic possibly a third one if they get Shadow. Shadow is not on this list. And you have Banjo and Kazooie as number 77 here. So Master Chief and Banjo could be those two Microsoft rep, reps coming over, especially if Nintendo and Microsoft are working so well together. That's just something to think about, y'all. And 78, you have Gino, who a lot of fans are speculating, and he's been wanted since Melee, let's be honest, just by so many fans. And I think that would be a perfect number to end off on as the base roster. Master Chief, Dante, Banjo, Heihachi are all characters that I don't think a lot of people are expecting. So they're going to be the shock value characters. And Isaac, Bandana Waddle Dee, Skull Kid, Gino, all Nintendo based characters that I think fans would love to see. And if this is a fan-based type of game, then Sakurai has made the perfect choices in picking these characters. It makes sense to me. Of course, you shouldn't believe that this leak is real, but if it is, I, I love the roster and how it is after that. You know, I wouldn't ask for anything else. And of course, I'm sure we'll get DLC afterwards, and I hope Sakurai is hearing what the fans want because I'm sure he's going to implement it even after that so you guys can take this all with grains of salt and do what you want with it but those are my two cents so i hope you appreciated that as always peace love and deuces up i'll see you guys next time